Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'alta usaha. Wa anta taj'al al-hasana idha shi'ta sahla al-hawli wa tika arham fa'ahim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم لا سهل الا ما جعلته سهلا وانت جل حسن اذا شئت سهل بحولك وقوتك ارحم رحمين بسم الله 
my dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please, my sons, open your book, page number 289. Open page number 289. We will solve the last question together. Question number four in 289. Are you ready to solve with me? Yeah. Yes. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Page two. In page number two hundred eighty-nine. Question number four. Who can read? Omar, read please. Okay. Uh, question number four. Twenty-seven point six. Twenty-seven point seven. The last question at the end of the page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two cuboids two cuboids have the same surface area. The dimensions of one of them are length equals three centimeter, width equals four centimeter, and height equals two centimeter. Calculate the height of the other cuboid. Its length is one centimeter and width is four centimeters. Can you solve it? We'll start. Uh, do you remember how to calculate? So do you remember how to calculate the surface area surface of the cuboid? Surface area of the cuboid. Two and brackets. Yes, two brackets. L H plus W H plus L W. Yes, true. And it said uh, he wants the height, so we will make uh, the, the, the. Wait, 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 wait. We have first. We have. Three length, four width, and two height. So the first yeah. cuboid we have the three dimensions. So we can find the total surface area directly. That's right. Yes. So. Is it the same? So. Uh, it will be two, two. That's right. Two over mobile. Yes. Two multiplied. <laughs> two multiply what? I uh, will make two multiply B. LW plus yes. LH. LH plus uh, WH. Very good. Plus WH. Who can help him? Who can complete? So the total surface area of the first cuboid equals? Adam? I know, Mr. Yes, two multiply. Yeah, two multiply twelve plus five plus eight. This is eight. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the length is uh, three, the width is four, and the height is two. Length. Yeah. Yes. So it will be twelve plus five plus eight. Like yes. Two. It will be twelve. Uh, plus uh, five plus eight. Three three multiply four equals twelve. Plus three five. multiply. Two equals six, that's right. Yes. And four multiply two, two. equals eight. So, so it will be 26 multiply two. 26 multiply two equals 52 centimeters square. This is the total surface area of the first key point. Okay? Who will complete, Mustafa Saleh? Uh, what? Okay. Uh, cal uh, calculate the height of the other cuboid uh, if its length is one centimeter and its width is uh, four centimeter. So the the length of the second cuboid equals the uh, the, one the one centimeter and its width is uh, four centimeter. And the width is four centimeters. Yes. And the total surface area is 52 equals 52. I think now you can find the height of the second cuboid. I write 52 equals equals what Mustafa? Yes. Two. That's right. Multiply. Yes. Yeah. Four. One multiply four equals four. 
length multiply with one multiply four equals four plus one multiply h, one h. Equal, equals h very good plus four multiply h equal four h i think now you can find that two multiply four plus five h equals 52 from where this step uh, adding h plus 4h only add yes from adding h and the 4h the sum is 5h now we will multiply the result by 2 or we can divide first the other side by 2 so 4 plus 5h equals 52 divided 26 two. equals 26 yes good so 5 h 4 plus 5 h equals 26 4 plus mm, 5 h that's right my sons and by this way we can find the value of h 5 h equals 26 minus 4 means 26 minus 4 22. equals 22, 22. and h five. equal 22 e over 5. Equal 4.4. Yeah. Then h equal 4.4 centimeters. It's clear, my sons? Yes. Okay. And now let's start the new lesson. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The new lesson is talking about the volume of the prism. Uh, Yazan, yes, please. Yes. In your book, page number 290. In your book, page number 290. The volume of a prism. The volume of a prism. Yes. A prism is uh, a prism. Only, only, a... only, Yazan, yes, only, Yazan, yes, we need to define the prism. Prism is what? A prism is any three dimensional object which has a constant cross sectional area. Mm -hmm. So what's the meaning of constant cross-sectional area? My sons and daughters, look at the first cuboid. Can you see it? Yes. If we cut it into two parts, also I'll see the same rectangle in the front. Can you see the, the, the rectangle in the front? This rectangle in the front named cross-sectional area. Cross-sectional area. So if we cut it, you will find the same rectangle again, that's right? Yes. Also the slender, if you cut it horizontally, you will find the same circle again. And also the triangular prism, you will find the same triangle again, and so on. So this is prisms. So we have rectangular prism, and rectangular prism, its name is cupoid. Circular prism, circular prism, its other name is cylinder. Triangular prism. We know the triangular prism and so on. Pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism, and so on. All of these solids, we can find its volume by one method. Only one method. Only one rule. The volume of the prisms equals area of the base or base area multiply the height multiply the height so the volume of the prisms equals base area multiply the height base area multiply the height first the cuboid in the cuboid the base is rectangle and the area of the rectangle equals length multiply width so the volume of the cuboid equals length multiply width, this is the area of the base, multiply height. And what about, this is cuboid. What about yes. cube? What about cube? Who can find it the volume be, of the cube? Uh, the same, the the same base volume base. equal. Yes, the base of the cube is what? The base of the cube is what? L, uh, L by W by H. The base, the base of the cube is a square. Its base is a square. 
and the multiply. area of the square side equal side multiply itself. That's right. So or we can write it side square side multiply itself. Then we will multiply it by the height, and the height equals the sides of the base. So the volume of the cube, we can write it S cube or L cube, each length power three. Why? Because length, width, and height in the cube are equal. So it will be each length, each length multiply itself, multiply itself means each length power three. Understood? Yes. Mr. The volume of the The volume of what? The volume of the prism, area of the base multiply height. You mean area of the base? Yes. Area of the base multiply height, yes. Yeah. Uh, then who can find the volume of the cylinder? Yeah, Mr. Me. Hmm. The first question, you should to answer it. The base of the, of the cylinder, in the shape of? Uh, by R squared. Circles. Circles, yes, it's a circle. So, so it will be by R squared. The area of the circle equals by R squared. This is the area of the circle. Multiply every time we are multiplying by what? We are height. multiplying by height, yes. So it will be by R squared multiply. Understood, my son? Yes. So you can yes. find you can, yes, it's easy. You can, and pay attention to the units. You, you, you will ask now. That if uh, the, the units of the volume must be cube units. So if you use uh, uh, centimeters, 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 so the volume will be in centimeter cube, and so on. Yes. Understood. Mr. Avakuch. But before your question, Ahmed, how to convert between the different units? How to convert between the different cubic units? Ahmed. What? How many centimeters in one meter? Uh, 100. Yes, true. So the question now, Ahmed, is how many centimeter cube in one meter cube? Uh, we will make 100 bars. 10,000. Yes. It will be 100 cube, means 1, one, one million, 1 wow, million, 100 million. multiply 100, multiply 100, you have six zeros, so it will be 1 million, one million, million. or 10 power 6. So 1 meter cube equal 1 million centimeter cube. Do you have any problem, my sons? No. no. It's a clear. In your book? In page number 290. Mr. Avakut. Yes, Oscar. Uh, we will use uh, the volume of the prism uh, equal area multiply height. Area of the base multiply height. Very good. Area, area of the base multiply height. Uh -huh. Why he write the uh, area of cross section multiply length? So the cross section is the base. And the length of the prism is its height. Understood, Ahmed? Oh, okay. Okay, so if we have triangular prism, triangular prism, do you remember, my sons and daughters, do you remember the area of the triangle equals what? Area of triangle? Yes. Yes, half. Uh, half, uh, uh, half by length by width. The half area by of triangle equals? Half by length by width. Half by height. Half by length by height. Half multiply the length of the base, multiply the height. Oh, half oh, multiply, yes. half the base, multiply the height, or base multiply height divided two. Yeah. Any problem? No. My son, no. we said that the volume of the prisms equals area of the base multiply height. This height must be perpendicular height. This height must be perpendicular to the base. Understood? Yes. Okay. Yes. This part is an easy part. In, uh, at the end of page number 290, exercise 27.8, he said, calculate the volume of each of the following cuboids. He gave me width, length, and height, so we can multiply length by width by height to find the volume. 
The second exercise, exercise number two, 27.8 number two, in page number 290, he said, calculate the volume of each of the following cylinders. He gave me radius equals four centimeters and the height equals nine centimeters. So the volume of the cylinder equal by r square h. By r square h. Close your Yeah, yeah. Yes. <coughs> Don't open your rope cam, please. Now, we have an important lesson. So please, my sons, pay attention. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We will study arc length and the area of the sector. Arc length and the area of the sector. There is no. There is no. There is no. Nothing. Sure. So arc length and the area of the sector. MK two thousand five. I don't know your name. Please, it's yeah. better to write your name. Uh, that's Mustafa Khaled. Mustafa Khaled. Yes. Mustafa, please. Read arc length and um, the sector area. Sector area. Mm -hmm. You should know with these terms, realize that the lighting huh? to the part of the center. The center of a circle is point which is equal Equidistant? Equidistant from a point what the, what the meaning of on the circuit. The meaning of equidistant at equal distance. So this distance, the radius, equal the radius, equal the radius. So it's at equal distance from all the points on the circuit. Understood? Okay. This is number one. Complete? Radius of a circle, Stra straight line joining the center of a circle to any point of the circumference. Yes, I think it's clear. Radius? Yes. So, and we have something. We have the diameter. So what is the difference between diameter or what is the relation between Ra radius. diameter and radius? Radius. Radius is two diameters. Yes. Yeah. No wrong, Mustafa. Diameter yeah. equal to radii. Ah, it's really yes. So the diameter equals two radii. So if we know that the diameter of the circle equals eight centimeters, so it's so its radius will be eight divided two equals the four. Complete? Yes. Uh, a minor arc uh, in an arc smaller than a semicircle, a circle angle which is sub. Mustafa, do you know the meaning of semicircle? What? Do you know the meaning of semicircle? A half, a half circle. circle. It's a half circle. Yes. So now, what the meaning of minor arc? Can you see this red arc? Can you no, see? Uh, smaller than half. Yes. Half. So the minor arc must be smaller than the half of the circle. Understood? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Mustafa, complete reading. A minor, uh, a, a, a minor arc no, in an minor. arc. Me, me. Major. Major yes. arc Major. in an arc larger than a uh, semicircle. Yes, we can see it now. We can see the large arc. Yes, it's very big. A cent uh, central angle, which is so, uh, suspended by a major arc, has a measure larger than 180 degrees. Yes. So what is the meaning of this point? We didn't read this point here in the minor arc. He said. The central angle, which is subtended by the minor arc, has measure less than 180 degrees. So this is the central angle. The central angle, my sons, its vertex is the center of the circle. So its name is central angle. And the two sides of it are two radii. Can you see the dashed line? Yes. So this angle named the central angle. Can you see that the central angle in the minor arc, it's less than 180? Why? Because if we have...
semicircle, the central angle which is opposite to semicircle or subtended by a semicircle is 180. So the central angle which is Nine. subtended by the minor arc must be less than 180. Understood? Yes. Uh -huh. Good. So where is the central angle here which is subtended by the major arc? The central angle here is the reflex angle. Can you see it? all of this? Understood? Yeah. Yes. And yes. this angle is more than 180. The name of this angle is reflex angle and the measure of the reflex angle is more than 180. So what about this X? This X is, acute, is an acute angle and it's subtended by the minor arc but the reflex angle subtended by the major arc. It's hard, my sons? No. Again, mister, again. Again, mister. No, so, so do you know the meaning of the central angle? Who can define the central angle? Central angle means what? Center of the circle. No, the no, central angle. It's vertex. Central angle it's you vertex. Should, you should to talk about two things. Number one, the vertex of the angle and the two sides of the angle. If you can divide it, you can. Who can define? Uh, I, it's the it's the angle which is uh, vertex which is, uh, which, uh, which it's vertex is. Uh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa, the vertex yeah. is the center of the circle. That's right, Mustafa. In the center of the circle. Yes. 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 So the center of the, per the of the circle uh, is the perfect angle. Yeah. And the two sides. I was go. I was going to say something else. That's why. And the two sides of it are. Red uh, are uh, yes, very good. So the central angle, its vertex is the center of the circle, and the two sides of it are radial. Okay. Uh, Omar. Omar Ayman. Omar Ayman, you understood the difference between minor arc and the major arc? And the major arc? Yes. Okay, so can you explain the difference between the central angle, which is opposite to the minor arc? It's an acute, it's an obtuse, it's a straight it's angle. An ac acute angle. It's acute an angle. Acute angle means less than 180 and also less than 90 degrees, that's right? Yes. Okay. Here, only in this case, it's an acute angle. But maybe if we made another... And maybe it's obtuse. Maybe, right, that's right. Maybe, yes. maybe obtuse. No problem, but it must be less than what? Uh, 180. 180, it must be less than the straight angle. Very good. So what about the major arc? No, the major arc, it's the, the major arc. Uh, the central angle, which is opposite to it, must be greater than 180, like the reflex angle we can see it now. It's greater than 180. Yes. Okay, let's complete. This is very important part. Say bismillah. Bismillah. The length of the arc. How to find the length of this arc? How to find the balance of the major arc and the balance of the minor arc? First, length over length equal measure over measure. Length, can you repeat with me, please? Repeat after me. Yeah. Length over length. Equal measure length over measure. Length, length, length over length, length equal measure over measure. measure. So what is the meaning of length over length equal measure over measure? We will understand now. But repeat it for the last time. Length over length equal measure over measure. Over measure. So the first length is the length of the arc. The first length is the length of what? The, the arc. arc. The arc. So we can name it L. 
the length of the arc equals L. Over the length of the circle, the length of the circle is 2 by R. What is this? What is this rule? Circumference. Yes. So the length of the circle is it's a circumference. Okay. Yes. We said that length over length equal what over what? Measure of a measure. The first measure is the measure of the central angle. Let's name it theta. The measure of the central angle, which is opposite to the arc, which is subtended by the arc, over the measure of the circle. Do you know the measure of the circle, my sons? The measure of any circle equals 360. Any problem? No. No. Okay. Who can say it again? Who, uh, who can say that? Me. So one minute, my sons. One minute. One minute. This voice, please. This voice. اه <تصفيق> 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 Again, you hear me, my sons? Yes. Okay. yes. So measure over measure equal length over length, or length over length equal measure over measure. So the length of the arc over the length of the circle equals the measure of the central angle over 360 degrees. It's clear? Yeah. So, so from this, we will find the length of the arc. Well, the length of the arc will be 2 by r multiply theta over 360. Who can explain this rule? 2 by r. From where this rule? 2 by uh, from r the rule. multiply theta over 360. The same from the rule, uh, the rule uh, what, 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 what yes, the same, very good. The same we rule. said that the length of the arc over 2 by r equal the measure of the central angle over 360. 360. So we will multiply 2 by r by theta. theta and we will divide oh, okay. the result by 360. So the length of the arc equals 2 by r theta over 360. It's too hard. Easy. Oscar, I think the method, the, the rule in the book is very easy, easier than it. So, what is the rule in the book? Um, uh, phi over 360 stop, multiply stop, to... Stop, stop, Phi over 360 means it's theta over 360. Okay. Multiply what's complete? Multiply 2 by R. It's the same rule, my son. Understood? Okay. It's the same rule, but only he wrote, he wrote instead of uh, C, he, he, wrote, he wrote 5 only. So it's the same rule. Okay. Okay, so the second part is 
what it is. The second part is how to find the area of the sector. How to find the area of the sector. So the length of the arc, he wrote it equal to two by r theta over 360. Two by r theta over 360. The area of the sector or sector area. Again, we will write area over area equals what? Measure over measure. You can find the area of the sector equals what? My sons, do you know the meaning of sector? This sector, I want to find yes. its area. This sector, the minor sector. How to find its area? It will be what? <coughs> area of the sector equals by r squared multiply theta over over 360. So we can see the difference between by r squared theta multiply over 360 and 2 by r theta over 360. So the other This will give me the length of the arc. Different rule, sure. Sure, sure we have two different rules. The length of this, the, the, the arc equal 2 by r theta and the area of the sector equal by r squared theta over 360. Ah, uh, okay. Understood? Yes. Okay. So, example one. Find the arc length and the area of the sector of a circle of radius three centimeters and central angle 60 degrees. So we have the length of the radius and we have the measure of the central angle. How to find the arc length? So the arc oh, length will be 2 by r multiply theta over 360. 2 by r theta over, over 360. 360. Yes. So it will be 2 multiply by multiply, multiply 3 multiply 60. Multiply 60. 60. Over 360. So the length of this arc equals only by. Yes. Divide 60 yes. equals 1. Divide 60 equals 6. Divide 3 equals 2. Divide 3 equals 1. Divide 2 equals 1. Divide 2 equals 1. 1 multiply by equals by. So the length of this arc equals by centimeter. By. Any problem? No. no. But he asked me to find the area of the sector. The area of the sector equal by r square theta over 360. So it will be by multiply 3 squared. The radius equal 3 centimeters. Multiply 60. Multiply 60. So the answer, divided 60 equal 1, divided 60 equal 6. 3 power 2 means 9. So 9 divided 3 equal 3. And 6 divided 3 equal 2. So the answer is 3 over 2 by? By centimeter. Centimeter square. Yes. Why centimeter square? Because we are finding the area of the city. Yeah. Understood, my sons? Mr. Mr. Why do we multiply 3 or 2 by? Why? Why we are multiplying what? Why don't we multiply 3 by 2 by? by? Yes, no problem to multiply 3 over 2 by? by. Use your calculator to multiply. Uh, if we ask you to find the answer to two significant figures, to two decimal places, one decimal place, to the nearest whole number, multiply three over two by boy and find the three boy. No problem to multiply. Okay. I think sure you can multiply. You can multiply three yeah. over two by boy using your calculator. No problem. It's hard, my sons. No. No, easy. So we, he can give me the length of the arc. If the length of the arc equals we found it, it will be by the length of the arc. Now we have exercise number three or number two. If the length of the arc equals by 
and the radius of the circle equal three centimeters. Find the measure of the central angle. Can you? Can you find the measure of the central angle? We will rearrange the equation. Yes, you can write the length of the arc over two by r equal the measure of the central angle over 360. That's right. So yes. what is this? What do you remember this rule? No. This rule is yes. length over length equal measure over measure. He told yes. me the length of the arc is by, so I wrote by. And two by r. And he told me the radius equal three centimeters. And now I can find the measure of the central angle. Can you? Yes. 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 It would be 360. Multiply by over six by. Mr. From where the six by two multiply three equals six. Two multiply three equals six by. Divide by so three hundred sixty divided six equals sixty degrees. So this is the central angle. It's hard. No. 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 By the same way, you can find the length of the radius of the circle. That's right. Yes. By the same way, I can give you the length of the arc and the radius. And I'll ask you to find the area of the sector. What we will do? The length of the arc. The length of the arc is by. And the radius equals three centimeters. Find the area of the sector. Find the area of this sector. I don't need numbers. Who can explain only the method? My daughter. Mr. E. So wait, wait, Ahmed. My daughters, the area of this. Only I'm asking about the method. Um, is it gonna be the pi r square by six hundred sixty? So first, I'll find what. I will just write by and three square multiplied by two over three hundred six. Doctor, I don't have I don't have I don't have the central angle. That's right. Yes. So first, I'll find the central angle by this way. I'll find the central angle. Understood? Yes. Then after finding the central angle. I can write the rule again. So the area of the sector over two by r squared equals the measure of the central angle, I have it, over 360. Or write the area of the sector, this two is wrong. Oh, the area of the sector equal by r squared multiply theta over 360. So the method is to find the measure of the central angle first, then use the rule to find the area of the sector. Understood, my son? Mr. Again, again. Again. So I'll find the first less than 50 seconds. So I'll find the first the, the measure of the central